Today I'm going to talk about an American childhood reading staple, The Little House on the Prairie series by Laura Ingalls Wilder. I'm going to look especially at The Long Winter, a book in the series which was a runner-up for the Newbery Medal, the most prestigious award for YA fiction in America. Laura Ingalls Wilder was born in a log cabin in 1867 in Wisconsin. Her family were pioneer settlers, and most of her childhood was spent moving around the Midwestern region of the United States. Following the stock market crash of 1929, which wiped out her savings, Wilder presented a manuscript for a book based on her childhood to a publisher. This manuscript became Little House in the Big Woods, the first book in the Prairie series. The Long Winter is the sixth book in the series, and chronicles a stormy winter in South Dakota from 1880 to 1881. In the book, Laura is about 14 years old and living in a small town with her family. Over the winter months, blizzard after blizzard hits the town to the point where there isn't enough coal to heat the buildings, food becomes scarce, and eventually even trains can't get through to the town to bring food. When food runs out, Almanza Wilder, who Laura eventually marries, and his friend Cap walk 20 miles to a different settlement that has wheat and bring back 60 bushels for the starving townspeople. This gets the town through the rest of the blizzards into May, when the snow finally melts enough for the trains to run again. Although Wilder frequently fictionalized her experiences for the books, this one is mostly accurate. The winter of 8081 was known historically as the Snow Winter, because of its frequent blizzards and extreme cold, and trains did stop running that year. The book offers an engaging look into settler life in America and is a great children's read. 